of Tucker Carlson tonight. Happy Wednesday. We want to take you back a couple of Februarys ago. Not that long, but really a different time. You're not going to speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. Venezuela's socialist economy famously had collapsed utterly by that point. There was no toilet paper in Caracas. People were eating zoo animals to stay alive. I said, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Had lost more than 10 pounds from starvation. So the point of sending humanitarian aid to Venezuela was to show the world that Americans are decent, but more than that, that the American system works. <laughs> so rich that we can afford to send crutches and wheelchairs to our enemies. Again, that was 2019. It wasn't the Berlin airlift. It was the other day. But a lot has changed. We're not shipping any more crutches or wheelchairs to Venezuela or anywhere else for that matter. And we're not because we don't have enough for ourselves. Well, which is it, young feller? In a year into the Joe Biden administration, the United States faces massive and potentially dangerous shortages of just about everything. This week, one of the largest healthcare providers in the Western United States, it's called Intermountain Healthcare, began soliciting help from its own patients. What? 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 